And now it's just peel and barbecue approved. Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Peel and Barbecue. Today I've got a cooler video coming to you. Kong coolers made in the USA coming at you right now. All right, folks, this is a review of the Kong coolers. I want to give you a little background before we get into the uh, features of the cooler. I just wanted another option from uh, some of the others. I want to make sure it was made in the USA. And I just started doing some research on coolers. And I kept coming back to Kong coolers because of the features, because of the way they were made, and because of the accessories that aren't offered anywhere else with any other cooler. Um, I've had one of the probably most popular name brand uh, roto molded coolers for probably about the last four years. And I just had to send it back because of a defect that it had. And uh, they did replace it. However, I was just inside of that warranty window. With these coolers, the first thing that I like about it is it's got a limited lifetime warranty on the cooler itself. Nobody else, I don't think, is offering a lifetime warranty on their coolers. Uh, Kong likes to say this is probably going to be the last cooler that you'll ever buy. I disagree because if you ever get one of these Kong coolers, you're going to buy another one, I promise you. Uh, that's how much I like it. I've had it for a couple of weeks, and I'm happy to share it with you. And so let's get into it right now. So the first reason why I kept coming back to the Kong coolers is if you go online and search uh, ice retention tests, a website that really helped me out with this kind of stuff, it was CoolersOnSale.com. That guy does a great job with his cooler reviews. Uh, go check it out. Again, I'll leave a, a link in the description box. But ice retention with these coolers is at the top of everybody in the market. Uh, that's one of the things that I wanted was ice retention. The other thing was a little bit of differences that they do compared to the other top brands. And the first thing was the latches. Uh, the other brand that I had had the rubber latches that you have to pull down. And I had already replaced those three times in four years because they kept cracking around that little ball that you had to pull down. Uh, these are rock solid. First of all, they got stainless steel in the middle of the latch. Second of all, they fall out of the way so that when you lift the cooler up, they are out of the way when you go to close it back. And thirdly, they latch over the top and then pull the lid down on top of that gasket and that's what seals it. I like these latches a lot better. Um, they're easy as can be to unlatch and then to relatch is just as easy and I love it. That's one of the first things that I loved about these coolers. Second of all was the handles. The handles aren't a rope style handle. They are a solid handle, easy to grip. They've got a wide uh, pole right there for you to get your paws in. Even if you're, you're a work guy and you've got gloves on, you can still get your hands in there. And I love these handles a lot better. There's a rod that goes all the way through, nice and sturdy. This is a 70 quart and it's heavy when it's loaded down. The other day we had two cases of drinks in here and 40 pounds of ice. Believe me, it was heavy. These handles held up really well. Uh, no give in them whatsoever. So I like the handles. Also, made in the USA, this is a Kong 70. And when it says 70, that means it is a legit 70 quart. Unlike others that might say 45, 75. That number, I don't exactly know where they get that number from because it's not the quart size of the cooler. Another thing I liked about the outside of it was the lid shape. So as you can see, there's a cutout right there at a 45 degree angle on the back of the lid. And that's so if you've got it backed up to a wall, you've got it back, backed up to the inside of your boat, anything like that. Well, other coolers that are flat all the way to the back, you're not gonna be able to open that lid because it's gonna be pressed up against the wall. But with this, you can open this cooler up to a 45 degree angle up against the wall without having to move it at all. Still get into your cooler and get whatever you want out of it, drop it back down, and you never had to move it away from whatever you had it setting up against. That's a space saver, and it's a back saver because you don't have to move a heavy loaded cooler uh, off the wall while you're trying to get something out of it. So I like that a lot too. It's a, the attention to details. Again, this Kong 70 has a drain on this side, but it also has a drain on the other side. Uh, I like that feature a lot as well. You don't see many of these coolers with two drains, one on each end. So I like that feature. 
when you take this drain out, you don't have to take it out all the way because it's got holes in the drain that allows it to drain. You can see all the way through it. So some people complain about losing their drain plugs. Well, you don't have to lose this one because you don't have to take it out all the way. Just take it out the majority of the way and then water is gonna drain through those holes and then secure it right back up and you're done. The other thing I like about these coolers and I was pleasantly surprised was the appearance of these coolers. These coolers look really good. I mean, they look good. Um, the paint scheme on these is it's got kind of a speckled marbling effect and I really like that. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not until I saw it in person and I really like it. Inside the cooler, Kong across the top, there's your gasket. That's what's going to save you ice uh, once you get this thing closed with those latches pulling down on the lid. One of the things that I liked about the Kong also is it comes with one of these dividers, but this divider is a food grade cutting board as well. Uh, now, how are you gonna use this cutting board? Well, you can always put a little paper towel on top of your cooler, set it down and go to town. But Kong came up with a better way to use your cutting boards. And I'm gonna show you that now. So one of the accessories that sold me on this cooler was being a barbecue guy, um, especially if you're out in the field or on a campsite uh, at a NASCAR race, whatever the case may be, sometimes your cooler uh, turns into a workstation. Uh, and if you want to try to use your divider, for example, as a cutting board, put it on top of your cooler and that kind of thing. Well, if you slip with your knife, now you've got a gouge in the lid of your cooler. It's also sliding around. And also, if you get into chopping something, but you get a little thirsty, you want to get inside your cooler, you're going to have to take everything off, open up your cooler, get your drink, your beverage of your choice, and then put everything back. Not with a cone cooler. This little deal right here, called the cone kicker, solves all of that. Open your lid up, slide your cone kicker down through the hole, lift up your handle, kick it up in that slot, and now you've got a solid place to put your included divider slash cutting board right in place, it locks in with that slot, and you have a sturdy cutting board that you can use to dice up any vegetables, slice up any meats, anything like that, or just a side table uh, to accompany you on your campsite, your barbecue competition, whatever the case may be. I love that about this, but I was thinking, you know that cutting board's kind of small, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Well, they solved that too. Now this is a cutting board, a Kong size cutting board. It locks in as well, solid, sturdy on the handle. And now you've got a whole workspace to cut up vegetables and meats, use it as a large side table. You can sit down and use it as a table to eat on, anything like that. This is amazing, I love this. I love that Kong kicker. Uh, one of the things that I've never seen on any other cooler, uh, even the more expensive coolers, they don't offer anything like this. Uh, and this was big as far as being a barbecue guy and always liking to cook. Whenever I'm cooking, I've always got a cooler uh, close by and this is a great combination. One of the other accessories are these things right here. And I, at first when I saw them, I'm like, what in the world is that? It's actually called a Kong Crush Guard. And you can insert it on the other side of the cooler from your cone kicker. And if you've got your cooler lid open, it's on an unsteady surface, or just like today, the wind's blowing and it's blowing this way. If it does start to close and you've got your hands inside the, the, uh, the cooler, it's not gonna slam your fingers. When you open it back up, pull it out of the way, and close it down. It's that simple. You've got your small kids getting in and out. They're getting their little juice boxes and their little, the bell juices and that kind of stuff. They've got their hands in the coolers. The lid starts to close. No more crying kids because of that uh, crush guard. Again, pull it out of the way or remove it. 
and add another accessory on this side, another cone kicker on this side, and you've got the divider that you can use for an extra side table or cutting board. I love that. The other accessory that I love and I had to have was this cone bite, this cone biter, this bottle opener in the shape of a cone's head, uh, and it's molded to this corner of your cooler, and you attach it through the lock hole. Other coolers that have um, bottle openers want you to screw them into your roto molded cooler, not cone coolers. This is screwed in right here through the lock hole. It's molded tight up against the corner of the cooler uh, and works fantastic. It's on there as solid as can be. I love it. You can still use it for a lock because it's got a hole all the way through. The lock will come out of his mouth to lock it up. You also have the other side as well that you can lock up too. The looks of this cooler, the feature of this cooler, made in the USA. I was looking for a cooler that I permanently wanted on my uh, concession trailers. Asked them if I could partner with them, if they wanted to partner with me, and they said absolutely. And so now I'm a field staff member for Cone Coolers. And so I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below to the website. And I'm also gonna leave a code for 5% off anything that you purchase on the Kong website. And yes, I do get a little bit of that, which is gonna help, uh, help fund that concession trailer. Um, but give those a look. They are um, having some stock issues because of the COVID and all that stuff. So if you see a color that you like, but it's not in stock, just keep looking back because they're updating their website every single day. Um, this is not gonna be the last one I get. The next one that I get, I'll be sure to show you that one as well. Not sure what color combination I'm gonna go with then, uh, but I absolutely love them. Probably the next one may be a 110. They also have a 110, 110 quart cooler. Uh, it's a big one and it has three latches spaced out equally. So um, give them a look. I can't say enough about this cooler. This may not be the last cooler that I buy, but the very next one that I buy is also gonna be a cone cooler. Um, I thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, and until next time, we'll be piddling. See you.